All right, so you and I, well, I'll introduce myself first. Um, Casey, Union Fitness. This is Brian Pang, one of our yoga instructors. Hello. Um, I noticed at one point, I think probably late, like late February, right? I saw you and I was like, holy shit, you look like you lost a bunch of weight. Like, <laughs> I have, thank you very much. Thanks for noticing. Um, I, I didn't, I had been in and out with some health issues and, and kind of didn't really get to appreciate what you had undertaken um, until you kind of realized the fruits of it. So um, tell me about it. Tell me about the, uh, what, what was your motivation? Um, what did you accomplish? Um, how it felt? Okay, so I guess, yeah, motivation basically just, just to be healthier. Uh, kind of, I guess, sort of preventive health in a way. Sure. Um, Story short, I guess I'm not really getting any younger, so uh, I guess at this stage of my life, I think I kind of realized that I should probably start, you know, getting a little bit healthier in terms of physical activity and, and you know, diet and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, that's one motivation. Um, the second one really was, um, well, basically the reason why I was sort of able to do this, or part of the reason why I was able to do this was um, because I had got, gotten diagnosed with sleep apnea uh, last year and was able to get a CPAP machine and that's really, really helped me tremendously with my health and just like my well-being, so a lot of more energy, being able to, to be, excuse me, be more active, um, yeah, so. I think one of those, and that, you and I had talked about that a while yeah, back. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you, you got to see that. I was. I said life changing. Yes, right? yes. And um, I think that was a few months later where you said, "All right, I'll, I'll look into it." Um, but it, it kind of touched on some of the things that we that we like to preach. And I mean, you as part of our community kind of do the same thing. Um, you know, sleep is important. You know, that was one of the pieces that was missing for you. Uh, the other piece that I think that you we talked about before we decided to, to film it was uh, consistency. Right? Come to the gym. Making your whatever your whatever time you wanted to dedicate to health and wellness, you did. You stuck to that. Um, it wasn't a matter of you know you needed to go to the gym morning and night. It was three classes a week. Or I mean, right. it was. Uh, I, I, I know well, you've done yeah. Keenan's boot camp. What were some of the other classes that you had taken? Well, yeah. So basically, kind of uh, adding to what you're saying. So just starting out, maybe I was going maybe just like one class a week, starting with cardio lab, and then. Small steps. Yeah, small steps, steps, and then right? just sort of. And I was also doing yoga on the side too. Well, you were teaching. Everybody. Yeah, but that's that's a little different. Um, but uh, so yeah, just taking one class a week, and then you know, kind of working, sticking, taking that step, and then working towards doing more things. So I've basically done every, every class. I think, so. And you um, start, like we said, you started with one, and yeah. ended up with what, probably, probably two, three a week? Yeah, so n now I'm doing like three to four, right. sometimes if I can make it five, <laughs> right. <laughs> with the schedule, you know. Um, and, I, and, that, and the other thing is like, I actually enjoy it now, you know, like, I think in the beginning when you start, it's, it's very difficult, and well, I think you kind were, of hard to stay motivated sure. when, when said, it's oh, so I'm not hard. sure if I can do this, I'm yeah. not sure if I can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you always of... have your doubts and stuff, but, you know, you just work through that, and kind of have to just have to believe in, in yourself and in your goals and Absolutely. yeah so hopefully lean on lean on the staff of course on, yeah and of course the, the, the staff uh, and the people here are, are great and are always very uh, helpful and, and, and uh, I wasn't fishing for nothing yeah no and, and motive motive <laughs> <laughs> no and, and honestly and, and very motive motivating um, towards what you want I think I mean I didn't really have a set goal in terms of like X amount of weight that I just, just, getting, just in general, getting healthier. So we were, yeah, I mean, like you talked about, your goal was to commit to your health and wellness, right? Right, right. So whatever that looked like, whatever you were able to do, you did. And I mean, eventually, did you lost about thirty pounds, or? Uh, yeah. So I think from last year, I think it's 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 around that. Yeah. yeah and it, but it yeah. took time, right? It took that's, time. It takes time we, for sure. Yeah. I try to get that across to, regardless of the goal, right? If it's I'm going to run a marathon. I want to have a stronger squat. I want to lose weight. Dedicate the time to. It. There's no quick fix for sure. It's always. It's just, yeah, like it's I just wish there was. But small steps. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, so.
Was there was there ever a point where you were you're like I this is did you ever get a rut or did you ever No, no, I mean I wouldn't say a rut. Um, any frustration? Frustration maybe just I have some, some I have small injuries okay. here and there like my shoulder hurts sure. sometimes, but not, in general not not really. Just okay. so just learning. I mean you would I would be tired, you know, like at the end you're so you're feel kind of <laughs> tired, but like you know, you get over that and Working through the aches and pains. Yeah, learning. working through the, the aches and pains and learning the different moves that yeah. that, that come with uh, doing things all in there. The, <laughs> all all the dance stuff, stuff, stuff that they have. That yeah. So, um, I mean, how to feel? And I know you're continuing this, so I guess I yeah, don't want to put a period on it. But um, how did it feel after you you recognize that you had accomplished uh, at least part of your goal? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it feels good to, to just be able to have more energy. And, Feel better about about yourself, not only physically but mentally. Um, but I always sort of have this mindset, I, or I'm, I've been trying to get this mindset that it's sort of a, it's a it's a lifestyle. So it's something that you that never really ends. You know, you, you have to yeah. kind of be active throughout. Well, so it's, whatever it's, whatever that activity may be. Sure. Kind of, yeah. And I think it's one of those things that it's it's not the difficulty isn't in creating the habit. In creating the momentum that creates the habit, because once the habit's there, right, you go to the exactly. gym. You come and teach every Monday, right? Right, right. That's your habit. Yeah, it's easy. It's a habit. Yeah. So that's basically, yeah, basically what you're saying. And, it's and you something took, that in the that's sort of ingrained in what you what you do in your right. daily life. So. And in the beginning, you committed to something that was achievable. It was one class a week. Right, right. right. And then just as you felt better, as you felt um, stronger, less tired, more accomplished, more confident, whatever those things were, um, it allowed you to do more and take on. Absolutely. So it's you have to feel. Yeah. I think people. It does. As with anything in life, it's intimidating because you feel like I have to take all this on. You don't. You can start at whatever point you feel like, uh, and don't look at somebody else that's been doing this for right. a year or two yeah. or three years. That's that can be a trap sometimes. A absolutely. You know, especially like, going to a place like this where there's so many people that know what they're doing. Yeah. And, you that's, know, so. And that's that, that's the good part where. You can ask. You can ask right. Me. My first yoga class, I wasn't sure which, I didn't know what, where the front of the room was. I didn't even understand that point of it. So it's a matter of uh, be confident and ask yeah. questions and, and understand that screwing something up is part of the process. Uh, yeah, and I think well, when you, don't be afraid to ask questions. Well, yeah, a little people, sometimes people are a little bit shy about uh, inquiring about <laughs> Absolutely. Stuff, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what was. Favorite class, toughest class, favorite instructor, worst instructor. I, well, I don't want to put anyone. In, I know you don't want to say it on camera. I don't want to put anyone in the spotlight, but I enjoy everybody's <laughs> class, and everyone has a new, unique perspective to um, the fitness and a an unique style, which I I enjoy. I enjoy that variety, and that's you know, it doesn't. It, even though it's cardio lab, you know, it, it makes things interesting. It makes things different. What's um, the what's the, What's the one class you have to get yourself mentally prepared for? Like, uh, it's gonna be one of those again. Yeah, I guess, I guess the Alice, Allison yeah, teaches <laughs> a hard class. So I'm not really not gonna lie. So. <laughs> so, I think, but honestly, I think you're the uh, word on the street is you're the you're the Allison of the yoga instructors. Oh, I don't, I don't you, know. You about have the toughest. I'm a little class. bit nicer than Allison. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do remember this one class where you have to run around. Actually, we're sitting. We have to run around this whole park field. Loop. Yeah, the park loop. but like many times, like, <laughs> like throughout the entire. More class. than what felt necessary. Yeah, more than yeah, yeah, and uh, and it was sort of like when I was starting, so I was a little slow, and <laughs> and um, I found out later on that there was a guy in this class. He was like, he was running so fast. I couldn't believe how fast he was running. But I later found out that he was he was actually a professional soccer player. So I didn't feel so bad. That, that he was saying. he was like lapping me. Like can't compare. Time. Yeah, can't, can't compare. compare. Yeah. <laughs> no, and, and the reason I want to do this, I just want to show people that um, you know your your life is is partially centered around yoga. That's a big part of your life. And um, you know, one of the challenges for you was to commit to taking care of yourself outside of that. Um, and you did it through um, one going to see a doctor, getting a CPAP. Right. Uh, I have one. I think it's the best thing in the world. It's changed my life. Um, and. and Starting with a small step, one class a week, and then being consistent after. And I, it's, it's, 
hate to sound cliche, but it's a very simple recipe for success. Um, it just seems more daunting to people than, than what it really is. So uh, I wanted to highlight that piece of it. Um, I wanted to highlight your accomplishments because I think it's that's awesome. Um, and, and anybody that's able to take control of their lives and, and decide what they want it to look like, whatever that looks like, um, should be applauded. I think that's great. Thank you. So, thank you. Anything else you want to add? Come to Union Fitness. <laughs> it's the best Appreciate gym in, in uh, the city. I don't know about that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.